I remember when I first started the body sex groups, the workshops, everyone said, don't do nudity. That nudity is such a stumbling block for so many people. Don't do nudity. She said, at least not the first day. They all, all of the women in my C R group, at least let the people need each other. Let them and live. warm up. And I went, then I thought about it. And I thought, no, because then we would have to talk about it for days and hours on end about why. And I knew from group sex that if you came into the room and you weren't nude, that you sucked the energy out. And also when everyone is nude, everyone's vulnerable. It's, nor it's normal. So what we're talking about, there was a study out of the UK they just released that found that public nudity, being naked with strangers, builds self-esteem and leads to greater happiness. Yes, yes. So they're trying to figure out why do nudists mm -hmm. You know, it's all about negative body image. It's so hard in this culture <laughs> to grow up and have any self-esteem. And I know from the workshops, it's not about just doing it once. It's like a lifestyle repeating, choice. Repeating, repeating, repeating. So the people that are the nudists are the healthiest. Because you're accepting yourself. You're sharing yourself. You see real bodies. It comes back to you and you realize it's not such a big deal. It is not such a big deal, really. A couple of dimples on your ass big deal. A couple of rolls in your stomach. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or how about a scar? We see the women come in the workshops and they have a big scar and they're so upset about it and by day two, they're strolling around. Um, um, the stars of bad courage. I always love day two because you'll see like day one, some of the women are, I mean the most thing they fear is getting naked with strangers. And then by day two, you see them, they'll drop something and they like bend they, over to pick it up and their whole ass is spread open like in someone else's face. They, they, then they don't want to put their clothes back on. It's liberating. It's who you are. It's the essence of who you are. All the things you think are wrong with yourself, you see on all the other bodies. Instead of idealized images. You see the real thing. Now remember. That are enhanced in Photoshop. I, I drew the nude for, for many years as an art student. So I had a leg up. I mean, and, I, and I'd look at, and even the woman that was voluptuous, big, she was the most fun to draw. And there's something very attractive about each body type, because now that I've done the workshops for like four years, so that's how many, it's like in the beginning, yeah, you liberate, you're, you're, it's, you're comfortable being naked and that's the hurdle. And then all of a sudden you start to be inspired by the difference and the bodies, and you do, you wear your life on your body, and age, you know, and trauma, and all of these things become appealing. Yes. There were, it's like the scars of life. I mean, it's like, and I know that they don't expect me to be able to walk. <laughs> well, and to be naked in the circle at 88, like, brava. Really? really. <laughs> like, thank that's you, like, most people don't yeah. do that. I still have the same body. It's a little saggier, big deal, but I can, you know, I always say I can still eat, I can still defecate, I can sleep, I can talk, I can walk. Look at all those things I can do. Now that I have a big C-section scar at the top of my pubic mound, I see that, and it's like, that's success. Yep. And I feel more comfortable now. I mean, I can walk around naked in front of anyone. It's like, okay, yep. whatever. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's your successful birth. Yeah. Look what I did. I created life. And do you think those old men in Congress can stand that? Well, isn't it interesting that now we're in the, the post-Trump <laughs> era that the first thing they do is, the, is reinstate the global gag rule. The uh -huh. first thing this group of men, and it's all these old white men, the first thing they do is legislate women's bodies. And you know that none of them have had a hard on in the last 10 years. But why do you care? Like, why do you care? They want to control. It's the first thing you did. He didn't do the pipeline first. He didn't do the wall first. So if you ever think that you're getting a little paranoid, that it's always about us and it our is. fucking vaginas. It is. <laughs> it's fine. It is about us. And now that's the correct use so of wouldn't vagina. That, wouldn't that mean? The birth canal. That we have power? Beyond measure. Hmm. beyond control. I mean, hmm. we are doing able to give birth, and they can't. And multiple orgasms. Well, 
and we could come and come and come. And we come. just organized the largest march in U.S. history a day after his oh. inauguration. You know, mm -hmm. it's it'll unify all of us that have. And I think it's it's reigniting the feminist movement, yes, and I'm yes. very excited about that. Yeah, yeah. And I think nudity in women's bodies and self-esteem. There's nothing more feminist or revolutionary you can do than to love your body, to be in your body. <laughs> really. And oh, in our in the body sex groups that we're doing, they couldn't be more revolutionary. I mean, no, there's the, nothing else. We are at the heart of the problem. And it's like, come on, we're going to teach women how to have their own private orgasms. I mean, you can do it with somebody else. There's nothing wrong with that. But to do it on your own and to feel comfortable with a yeah. group of strangers naked. Can't beat it. Can't. So we're doing three more workshops in the spring. We go season by season. April, May, and June. The dates are below. And if you'd like to join us, send me an email. Um, we're about half full. And this is our first announcement. Good. So um, come and join us and be in, naked. <laughs> yeah, come and be in your beautiful body. Yeah, you're, as we say back in Kansas, I just want to be in my birthday suit. I like that.